Now Arsenal away again with Armstrong. Will this be it? Oh my goodness, what a save by man. McNabb's throw. Lines are flagging, the referee saying, I saw you, but we're going on. McNabb stopped by Booth. Lee coming back to help him. Then Lee losing it to Armstrong. McNabb again. Kennedy turning it again under that crossbar. And my goodness, Corrigan was pushed right at the end there. That really was a, spe a spectacular piece of goalkeeping in the end, but a speculative shot in the first place by Ray Kennedy. And almost getting it in there, Redford! And kicked off the line with the whistle of God. The whistle had gone, and one can only assume that it was for an infringement on Corrigan, the goalkeeper. So Arsenal's throw, Jeffries almost disappears into the crowd. In fact, he might well have injured himself there, but Arsenal going on, Heslop losing it, Samuels going in! And Corrigan down very quickly indeed. Bell pouncing on that one to Oakes, or rather to Lee. No, Lee now leaving it for Oakes. Boya getting up and Doyle right up there as well and Simpson giving him the treatment as Doyle looked in a position to try what could have been a difficult overhead shot for Bob Wilson to judge and so it's Armstrong Kennedy streaking on ahead of him and Armstrong with room as well now to Radford and Rice coming up fast on the right good cross by Rice Kennedy at the far side not just able to push it in and it looked very much like a corner to me coming off Corrigan, but uh, neither the referee nor the linesman would give anything other than a goal kick to Manchester City. Rice, who made a marvellous break down the right. McNabb, but Bell and Arsenal getting in each other's way. Heslop, Jeffries a bit muddled and finally out into a bit of space for Francis Lee. Bell, his henchman, is up with him. But that's not the sort of pass to find Colin Bell. Charlie George now for the Arsenal. Armstrong. George has gone on for a beautifully flighted ball from Armstrong to Radford. Beautiful stuff. And Samuels coming up hard on the other side. George trying to turn it back in. And Samuels getting it back this time as far as Rice. That really was a brilliant build up there by the Arsenal. And that's City are still not out of the wood. Jeffries, and now Storey, keeping up this pressure. A deep one this time. And he got in, and it away by Heslop. But in fact, the whistle had gone for an infringement there by an Arsenal forward. And the free kick going to Manchester City. Bell at the far side. Bell getting ahead to it. McNabb cutting it out. Doyle right in there, Bell too, and still Bell there, a two-ender, and push past! Hill, finding Doyle, poor one there by Doyle, but it's fallen for Manchester City, it's Boyer now, putting it inside the full back to look for Bell, oh, saved by Wilson, Boyer going in again, and saved again by Wilson! Twice that Arsenal defence hesitated, and twice Wilson was so sure. And Alan Oakes with it. Bowyer again getting there. Bell! Oh, blasting that one over. About the only real chance that Manchester City have had in the second half. And Bell putting it over. It must have been flicked there by Bob Wilson. He must just have got a touch to it. Only five minutes left now. Oakes to Doyle and now to Lee who really hasn't had very much to do in this second half Samuels Arsenal mounting another attack Simpson McNabb's gone down the left ball Simpson going on and going on again and a good looking drive oh there it is Simpson, the number six, who went on and on and shot, and Radford who finished it off. 1 0.
So there we are, less than five minutes to go. Arsenal once again pursuing victory right to the end.